I'd like to show you how I go about making the rule joint and the knuckle joint. These came into popular use in the early part of the 18th century and were always found on sofa tables and Pembroke tables. They are sophisticated joints. Drop leaf tables existed before this joint, but they might have had square edges and perhaps surface mounted iron hinges. This joint looks rather elegant when it's open. Many router cutter catalogues in the past used to show this half of the joint being done with this kind of cutter. And unfortunately, the straight part of this cutter truncates the tiny returning portion of this curve here. So I thought about this, um, I wasn't totally happy with it, and I came up with a plan to machine this vertically over the cutter. And I think you can see that this continuing curve machines that bottom edge as it should be done. So that's how we'll do it. In the support department, we have this knuckle joint, which is a very elegant version. A simpler version called the finger joint, I'll show in a diagram, but this one really does look very handsome indeed. It's considerably more work, and I feel sure that it would only have been used on very high quality work. And I want to try and sit at an angle between those two surfaces. The pencil shows me what I've been removing and I can see that it's a nice parallel facet. So I don't think I need to make adjustment. Uh, possibly it's a little narrower here than there. And I think that final shaving caught the sellotape. So I'll have two more off at this end, stopping and leave it at that. Now I can show you the action of the joint. It starts off quite nice and tight. and As we open it, the gap appears over here. And that's to let the toast crumbs and other debris fall through so that we won't end up scratching the barrel of the hinge. This goes hand in hand with the knuckle joint because when the leaf is raised for use, this part of the knuckle joint is opened. This part is screwed to one of the table rails and you may have a pair in fact. And this is what supports the drop leaf in its working position. And when it's closed, it looks very handsome.